Welcome to the demonstration on how Virtual Machine Component Protection recovers a VM from a permanent device loss or PDL situation. For this demonstration, we will be working with Host1. Host1 has five data stores connected, one local, ESX01NYC, two iSCSI, iSCSI LUN 0 and 1, and two NFS data stores, NFS01 and 02, attached to it. Two VMs are running on the NFS data store, and one VM, Payroll01, is running on an iSCSI data store. For this demonstration, we are going to create a PDL situation for the iSCSI data stores impacting only the payroll VM on this host. To do this, we navigate to the storage array. We remove the record for the iSCSI initiator for host number one, triggering a PDL. Going back to the events page, we are notified that HA has detected a data store mounted on this host was inaccessible due to permanent device loss. We also see HA attempting to terminate the payroll VM. If we go back and look at the VM payroll 01, we see that it is now running on host 02. On the events page, we see that HA has completed a virtual machine failover. This completes our demonstration of VM component protection permanent device loss recovery. Thank you.